Piggy bit. <laughs> we are desperate. <laughs> I, I I thought you were going to do it in Australian. Bacon bit. Bacon bit. Uh, on your cover. Cripes. <laughs> guys, we're jumping back in time to Why? when we needed bacon bits. You guys, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Yeah. A uh, listener, if you were as excited for Extraction 2 as we were, then you probably weren't that excited for Extraction 2. <laughs> we were sitting there going, hey, uh, we've talked about Extraction 2 in our summer movie preview because the joke is, and the joke in this episode is that we were so, I guess, we were so desperate for any sort of content when the pandemic hit. Yeah. And then Extraction nothing came was out. coming out. No movies were coming right. out in theaters at all. And Extraction felt like a thing. And so we did a full bacon yeah. bit to a streaming movie. Well, it was a big budget action movie from right. one of the guys who did Avengers Endgame. Yeah, right. The Russo brother. <laughs> Russo brother. And, and one and, of the guys that's in a Thor movie. And, 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 Chris Hemsworth. and Chris Hemsworth. So it's like, oh, that's a real movie. Yeah. So let's review it. And this will probably be a trend. Well, we, we're, we're going to review a lot of these We did do Tiger releases. King as well to we, date the show we, a little this, more. This was the only streaming release movie we've ever reviewed. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> okay, outside true? of the Disney Plus stuff. We did the Disney Plus. Uh, what did we do on Disney Plus? Uh, like Raya and the, Raya Last, and the Dragon. Last Dragon. Cruella. Okay. We, we did Mulan oh, as yeah. well. But All right. that, no other Netflix releases. Yeah, our heart was never in either, any no, of No, but them. we have done some streaming shows like Obi-Wan Kenobi and Book of Boba Fett. And we regret every single one of those. No, we every don't. Every time we've done a streaming release, Bacon Bit, we regret it. Wasn't Ghostbusters 2016 a streaming release? No. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, it, was, it didn't go steaming. that far back. It, oh, it we, was, did, we did Black Widow. It was steaming. We did <laughs> it Black was a Widow. steaming release. Steaming pile. <laughs> we did Black Widow. That was streaming, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we regretted that too. I'm not looking because I'm very curious about this. We so did. outside of Disney, we have never done a Netflix released bacon bit uh, for a movie. Oh, okay. I was going to say, we did, we did The Haunting of uh, Bly Manor and The Haunting of Hill House. Yes. Yeah. Those are both series. Series, though, that's, that's a different thing. That's a different animal. Yeah. That's it what is. it's kind of meant for. Uh-huh. Artemis what, Fowl? Was that a movie? Da- I think that was a theater that's release. That's Disney Plus. That Dang was it. a Disney Plus. Oh, 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 The Snyder Cut. Okay. That was a Max release, though, not Netflix. We're getting very specific here, Joel. <laughs> Final Fantasy for, VII We remake. can only do one <laughs> franchise. Video game release. <laughs> Tiger King. Moving on. <laughs> So here we have Extraction 2 for some reason. I think all of us forgot this movie was coming out until I put out a little message. Hey, guys, I know we're already recording a, a show. You want to do a big bit for Extraction 2? And we all What was the reaction? La- we all kind of laughed to it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? So what happened in Extraction 1? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I went back and listened to the bacon bit, and I'll tell you, we have no idea what happened in Extraction 1. <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. I did not go back and listen to the bacon bit, specifically because I went, no, no, I want to go into this oh. completely just not re- only oh, remembering I what too. I remember. Totally blind, right? And it's funny because it really doesn't matter. Uh, you can jump into this movie without having seen Extraction isn't, 1. Isn't that a positive totally. for any movie fan? Yes. Yes and no, because okay. they, they want to make this kind of emotional connection of, oh, Tyler Rake is back. And I'm like, which one is Tyler Rake? <laughs> He's the literally the lead character. And I'm like, ah, Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth is Tyler Rake. <laughs> and then they're like his wife. And I'm like, ah, yeah. Is she in the first one? Olga Kurilenko? I, I so. don't know. I don't remember, but they talk about she's it. She's in Quantum of Solace, and she's delightful. Yes, she is. No, honestly, the movie begins. And we're, uh, are we going to do spoiler-free, spoiler-full on this? Yes, we are. Okay. okay. Well, well, do the, we want to tell people, what Zach, what is the first one about? A, a guy goes mm-hmm. and gets a kid. For some reason, and He's hijinks, an extractor. hijinks ensue. But a lot of action scenes, lots oh, of a lot scenes. of orange dust the, clouds. Here, the, there, the big thing with this one is it's what? What are we? Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's the stunt coordinator on Avengers movies. Yes, who ends up directing this movie? Yeah, so he knows how to do stunt work and action scenes. Yes, and the big uh, gimmick of the first one was an 11 minute uh, air quotes unbroken mm-hmm. action scene. Like one, a, it looks like a one. It shot. looks like a one take, but it's not a bunch of cuts. It tries to be as seamless as possible. It's done digitally. So it's like one continuous action, right? Uh, and, and, it's, and then it's as if a guy is running around filming it handheld. I did. I forgot how the first movie ended. And so this one begins. This is just the very beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. Just setting it up. This isn't a spoiler. The very beginning of this movie is him dying, essentially. Chris Hemsworth's character, Tyler Rake, he, he's shot in the neck. He falls off a bridge. And then I forgot how the last movie ended. Well, I was like, is that how it ended? In fact, the synopsis is, after barely surviving his grievous wounds from his mission in Dhaka, Bangladesh, Tyler Rake is back and his team is ready to take on their next mission. <laughs> I generic. love it. Hey. So generic. 
I'm all for it. No, but literally, okay. the, I, I looked it up because I was like, wait, I had to pause the movie. Like, wait, how did the last movie end? Went back and, and I read. watched like a three minute summary video. Oh, on YouTube. I should have done that. Yeah. yeah. But I went, I went and just read the Wikipedia synopsis of the last little bit. And it's this, the kid that he saved, I think. Yeah. Is, is swimming. And then uh, one, a vampire comes by and like drags the other kids through the water. <laughs> No, wait, that's let the right let one in. Let the right one in. Uh, but still, that's an amazing Anyone who scene. gets that, you're cool. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to be quiet. Uh, oh, man. You're, you're cool, too. It's an amazing scene. Okay. Like, uh, cinematically We're going to make fantastic. you watch it this, this Halloween. All right. From let the right one in, not extraction. But what happens is this kid is swimming, and then he comes up underwater, and you see this blurry figure in the background, which supposedly Joel, is... This has nothing to do with extraction. Well, I bring this that. up because it is Tyler Rake. Okay. He's saying the background. Yeah. They don't, they don't address so it, that it, at the, all. The that's first the one ends with, maybe he lived? Yes. Yes. And I like I liked the mythical concept of how did he get out? How did he do it? He probably pulled himself up by the bootstraps and sure. and survived on like swamp water. Because in that first movie, there's a scene in which he does this big cliff dive and mm-hmm. can hold his breath. Meditates forever. underwater. Yeah. It's just it's that's the graduate. I believe it's Chekhov's swimming. Yes, <laughs> Chekhov's but, pool. Chekhov's pool. But then this movie literally shows how he survived. And I have to admit, it was a little behind the curtain of the magic trick. And I went, ah. Mm-hmm. You are giving way more time than any of that deserves. Uh, literally, yeah. none of that matters. It Other than matters to me. He's Faith Hill. He's hurt. So that's it. Do the I, the version I watched. Are there subtitles when they speak foreign languages? I well, the version I watched had subtitles for everything everyone said all the time. Okay, mm-hmm. because I didn't catch the subtitles when the villains were speaking. Oh wow, There's the, a they were speaking the Georgian, Austrian, the Austrian, Georgian, and Ukrainian, Georgian. Yeah, exactly. I didn't hear anything they said. But I go, they're bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can you tell. To, it's like 24. Can they're this bad the problems guys. of sailing the high seas. Yes, you had true. to look up from your phone. No, no, no. There were subtitles because I was like, uh, arr. Yeah. Yeah, Why? We have a Netflix account. I know. I don't. Um, de- definitely, it follows the events of the first movie. However, it's just a setup to see where our guy is. Well, what this movie is doing is is setting up a bigger world. All yes. of a sudden, Idris Elba shows up. From any one of the franchises he's been in. Shocked right? he didn't have an Wait, is this spoiler territory? That no, no, no. But he goes, hey. He because goes, they treated it like a big spoiler territory. They did. And they go, we got another mission for you. And he goes, well, it's a mission. He goes, yeah, it involves your family. So basically, and can I say who he's trying to save? Yeah, I think that's all set up. Part. He is trying Better to save his, ex's, his, wife, his, wife, his ex-wife's sis, sister, ex-wife sister, sister and, and, her and his niece and nephew. Yeah. That he doesn't know that are raised by the um, Georgian Gang, cartel. He kind of knows them. Yeah. Yes. He kind of knows them, and they're also kind of crappy kids. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. But uh, but none of this matters. Last, when we, again, I listened to the bacon bit. Yeah. We talked about, at length, how we did not understand the plot. This is not the case in this no, movie. No, this is so simple. The plot simple is dead simple, and yeah. I love it for it. I okay. appreciate that, too. Yeah. I, it, this is literally, hey... Go get them. Yes. And he goes, okay. And so it goes and gets them. And then it's a chase. Hijinks from there. ensue. And then yes. it's like, hey, we're mad that but, you got them. Da, 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 da. And then the movie happens. It's great. No, it literally is so much simpler. Because the last one, there was like this intrigue and espionage and a bunch of backstabbing and well, turning and around. There was not even a clear motivation as to why the target was being extracted. It was never in the first clear one. in the first one why. This well, one's like, the, hey, go get them. But also in They're this in one, spot. it's like because he extracted people and he saved his family, the Georgian military, like the full military is after this this group. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, really? I mean, just let them go. So, yeah, this right? is this is this is a pretty standard action flick. Yes. Uh, with the vulnerable yet semi-immortal protagonist where he gets in. Semi. Now, guys. Immortal. Last time we had Quasi. an 11 minute uncut scene. This time, 21. it's 14. It's 21. 21, 21 minutes. I thought it was 14 minutes. No, it's 21 minutes. Cause, oh, because they did it at the beginning, too. Yeah. Okay. No, no. This is like that one. That one With is the car. The, 21 minutes. The prison break scene is 21 minutes long. The yeah. prison break b- being there's also a car chase following and yes. a the uh, main train ex- chase. The main extraction of this movie. Yes. You're where you yeah you start Which in is a prison and that, end on a train. If that was the movie, a 21-minute short film, one take incredible well that's one the reason of the reasons, to watch right one of the reasons one of the downfalls of this movie is the fact that you get this pretty darn i'm gonna say a pretty darn impressive action sequence yes yeah, very well in done. fact if i may confess something to you sure this was a background watch for the first little bit i get it because i was like all right i'll put it on i can hear what's going on every time there's a pew pew someone's getting shot whatever and then all of a sudden i was like i, I kind of i was watching for a bit and i went oh Oh, they're doing the one take thing, and I literally mm-hmm. like push my keyboard aside and just kind of like, okay, 
let's watch this. I didn't know it was going to be 21 minutes long. Yeah. Right. Which it got a little exhausting at parts. But that part. But, but that's how it gets you, right? I could not look away at that part because mm-hmm. I kept being like, ooh, ooh, was that a cut? Oh, wow. Oh, they're going here now. Yeah. Hey, Joel, uh, did you know that Netflix has a 1.5 speed multiplier? Why would I do that? I found out on this movie. <laughs> Every time there wasn't an action scene, I oh. just flipped on the 1.5 speed. Wait, can you still hear this? Can you still hear her voice that matter. and everything like that? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. And that. I have subtitles, so I just like zipped through because essentially this Wait, movie is three it's only two so hours long. You watched this movie like a dad. Yeah, you watched it strictly for the action. None They're of the, standing none of the up. Dialogue. This movie, more or less, yeah, right. is three action scenes. Yeah. So I just fast forwarded everything in between those. But like I was gonna say. They they pulled the trigger on this uh, uh, pulled her a lot on this uh, twenty one minute uh, one take, which is really fun to watch. It is maybe a third of the way through the movie, mm-hmm. and then they have a whole rest of the movie after that. And I kept being like, "Did it feel too climactic?" Yeah, okay. That, that honestly felt like an ending scene to me. And they did it right in the middle, and then I kind of everything after that was kind of like, "Okay, I disagree. Sure. I disagree." Yeah, I you want to see that early? It was distracting. What? The one take was distracting? Yes, because it, it's like, oh, they're doing the one take thing. Um, I found it a little distracting and so much. I also found it a little disorienting so much so that I stopped watching the movie mm. and walked away. I was nauseous. That's what happens when you watch those at 1.5 speed. Do you, do you overthink speed. it? Do you overthink like, okay, then the next actor has to jump in and try to tackle him or hit him it, with a brick? Uh, this movie in general has a problem with physics. In that they don't oh, yeah. exist, right? Uh, but for me, there was enough of that, like or uh, bullets coming from a helicopter. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Or the, enough of the warbly stuff to to stitch it all together mm-hmm. that did bother me. Mm. So, so the action scene in the middle, which takes place in a big office building, and a lot of it in a gym, which really encouraged me to never go to a gym again. <laughs> um, I liked that action scene better, really, uh, because it it was just more conventional. But because uh, I want somewhere in between. Your taken Jason Bourne shaky cam, lots and lots of cuts, and what we got with the extended scene, sure. Where and I think you get that in the middle action scene where it's like they allow the action choreography to develop without a lot of cuts, mm-hmm. but it, it being filmed in a more conventional way, I actually found the middle fight scene more enjoyable, huh? Can't Though see. it was impressive, the the first one, the long take was impressive. Um, it feels like a gimmick. Well, the, uh, oh, it is a gimmick. It's all oh, totally. That's, but, that's, but this is this. I think they it's played it really well. I yeah. mean, and granted, they oh, could have done very well done three of these gimmicks throughout the movie. I think they could have spread this out where you had the car chase or the train chase. That could have been a whole other scene nonstop, and I would have been happy about it because yeah. all happening at once. I was like, wow, take it easy, guys. Because they literally go from walking to so uh, car to. To the, car, yeah, to train. They're walking around, like they're hiding, they're jumping, they're running through stairs. Then they end up in a car. The car, like, and then, then there's to the, the point chase, that when the, chain, the action train. stops, you're like, well, why is it stopping there? There's no reason for it to really stop. They've been um, pursued this entire time. They ran out of breath. Because they run out of track on the train. Well, yeah, but the bad guys that were speaking a foreign language that I don't know about. <laughs> yeah. They, no, I think this movie kind of tricked me in a good way because even though everyone here is a Superman, uh, I felt threat. I felt there was a threat in the movie, and and it may have just been because there was so much violence happening. There's a lot that even though everyone got sh- shot a lot and survived or stabbed a lot and survived, I was still kind of going, "Wow, well at least there's people in danger this yeah, entire yeah. time." And maybe it's the children in peril. Sure. And hey, Kent, do you know any? Do you have any concept of what was going on with the kid in the story? Because you didn't the, the son. Titles? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You know he spoke English. Okay, good. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. what were you going to say, Joel? Uh, I was going to say one thing that impressed me the most, though, is they did use a lot of practical effects. Like, yeah. your mm-hmm. brain has a way of kind of saying, oh, that's not real, that's not real. Right. And I, I watched it behind the scenes about that specific 21-minute one-take action sequence. And they were literally using, like, dummies riding on motorcycles right. at one point to get hit by a car. And I went, oh. And then, like, well, this other car, they're really flipping cars over and really have explosions. And do you know the comparison? Because so many summer movies we've seen in the theater have horrible effects, mm-hmm. right? The comparison th- is dramatic. I think this movie has horrible effects. Really? really? I, th- I think that the, when they... Like any crash with, you know, yeah, bigger the, vehicles. It's the physics are so off. Well, like the it's motorcycles and the cars mm-hmm. and the, the jumping. Is, the physics are off, but they actually are, like, they're real cars. Like that one that yeah. does a flip over, there's one that does a flip over pipes. Mm-hmm. I watch the thing and they just have the pistons on the bottom punch that oh, thing yeah. up and go flying. And like I'm the, like... And it's bombastic. It's just yeah. ludicrous. Well, well I, when I say I think that the, the effects are bad, it's because so much of the effects are good that when they actually use CGI, mm-hmm. it's very noticeable. I agree. Yeah. I can see that. So, uh, but overall, like the the action is, 
I think super well done. The gunplay is good. The fighting is really visceral. A uh, little too much shaky cam from my take. There's a lot of shaky cam. Did you feel like you're revisiting the Bourne series? Yes. But, but, but I think this is better woods. action than Bourne. I it is. I want to say that. Uh, well, worse story. So the, the, better the, action. But this is not really a spoiler because I'm not talking specifics. But the part when the, there's a car chase and there's a car that comes up beside him and then it flips up in the air and lands on a bunch of pipes and the pipes fly everywhere. Yeah. The car was supposed to hit the pipes and then flip, mm. but they pushed the trigger too early and it flipped early and then landed on top of the pipes. And they're like, oh, that actually looks pretty cool. So then in the in post, they added a little cement barrier in front oh, of where okay. the car hit. Oh, they tripped sense. it too early. So they, they tripped it too early. They're like, well, it looked cool. Let's just add a barrier there. And I was like, yeah. hey, you know what? That works. That works. Okay, so let's not belabor the point. Joel, what do you give it? Uh, same as last one, three. Straight down the middle, <laughs> action movie. Yeah, yeah, it's not a, it's not amazing, but honestly, if someone said, "Hey, you want to watch Extraction again?" I'd be like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah, I'm gonna give it a C. I don't know what I gave the last one. I gave it the last one a six and a half. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna give this one a seven. I like this one more. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the action the action's better and the story is just is simpler and right. it's it's better. Simple for it. is better. It, it, this type of movie, huh, absolutely. And uh, parental guide out there, there's there's no sexual nudity, but uh, there's uh, gun play, lots of language and a ton of violence. Yeah, I'd say violence. I'd say maybe a hand. I, I looked it up on VidAngel and it was like I don't know maybe ten f words. Which is okay. Which is a lot more than I like, but at the same time, much less than a lot of the other stuff that's being put out, and a lot of violence. Well, there's yeah. not a lot of dialogue in this. No, just because it's so much action. Maybe are, maybe uh, curse words per dialogue is up, like the ratio. Yeah, probably. Are you guys okay with Chris Hemsworth as an action hero? Yes, me too. I think he's really good. I think he needs to move towards this avenue yeah. instead of the you, Marvel stuff. The Tyler Rake franchise, is that not this one specifically. This, no, this specific, this venue. They want this. I don't know if you've Clearly, looked into yes. it. This is uh, being built up as uh, not only a series, but potentially a, a, an overall universe here. I just, I, I, Chris Hemsworth is one of those actors that I feel like he's, like, you remember the scene in Cabin in the Woods when he gets the uh, dust blown in his face and he starts saying, I think we need to split up. Uh-huh. And he like kind of acts weird. Yeah. That's how I feel he's is- acting whenever he's not Thor. Oh, he's okay. Not, he's kind of hypnotized. <laughs> he's, he's trying to be too dramatic. I think so. I don't know. No, I, I think he has the chops. He reminds me of an '80s action star. He can do what he can do. What he needs to do. Yeah. Oh, he's by the way, hundred percent believable. To uh, me. Oh, can we get to spoilers then? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, spoilers. We're just we're gonna spoil. <laughs> Straightforward to the point. We're spoiling Saved the movie him. now. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> we're not gonna overthink this at all. Do you know? By the way, speaking of spoilers, one of the hardest stunts that Chris Hensworth had to do in this movie. Yeah. You guys want to guess? I, I actually watched the scene. I Did he actually it. hang off of that ledge of, of those, those I glass windows? Part. Okay. Uh, he said, uh, from what I understand, not he said, but the director was talking about, the biggest complaint he got from Chris, Chris Hensworth was during the scene when he had to carry the little girl and run with her mm. for multiple like And takes, not drop her. And not drop her. Oh. And he said that was exhausting. Wow. And he kept saying like... Uh, you know, I don't want to run again. And the cameraman's like, I'm running with you, man. Let's How did you this. guys feel about the nuance? Because in this movie, it's about saving people, obviously. Yeah. And in the first one, you, you care, quote unquote, about yeah. the kid being saved. In this one, it's a it's a family, but it's not a lot of character yeah. development for the family, except for the son. So and because well, the, you had the, the the dad, we'll call him. The dad is thrown in a, a Georgian prison. Right. And he's um, a bad guy. He keeps he's his not, family he's there. a bad guy. He's not he's, wrongfully in prison. His brother's a bad guy. They add 10 more years to a sentence, blah, 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 all this stuff. Uh, but the family, his his wife and their two children are locked in there with him. Mm-hmm. And he is abusive to the wife. But the son, who's, what would you say, 14, mm-hmm. 15? I would, yeah. Idolizes him. Mm-hmm. Thinks mm-hmm. that the dad is so great. And even though he's in a prison, which didn't make sense. The little to me. girl is not. She's just she's not. She's really there to be a little girl. Yeah. She's there to be the vulnerable point that you're like, oh, don't hurt her. I just I think it's interesting and again i'm glad it doesn't tie into other people from the first movie sure uh because it would have been too convenient. like a kid coming back but it just so yeah. happens that this is you know the the sister-in-law mm-hmm. ex sister-in-law to, to tyler rake yeah. yeah and so it's like when we see oh she's in a bad situation the kids are in a worse spot he's being brainwashed they got to get out of there i think that's plenty of motivation for me i'm fine right. with that mm-hmm but then he has to kill the dad because the dad attacks the mom when they're when they're saving when was the dad Tyler the one that got his hand chopped yep. in half. Yes, yeah. that's why you, so much attention was given to him in the fight. Because I was like, wait, who's this guy? Oh, it's the dad yeah. because he actually went toe to toe with Tyler for a while, mm. uh, uh, hand to hand combat, Whoa. if you will. Whoa. He got his hand torn in two uh, and like down the face middle. burned. It was, uh, it was rough. Uh, so Tyler burning. Tyler yeah. has to kill the dad because he's basically trying to keep his family hostage even longer, and they're going to get killed in prison. This kid is mad at Tyler for the rest of the movie and then double crosses him. How did you guys feel about the nuance of this kid who at some point, because I, I like Tyler's team, even though they were like nearly invincible. 
I was like, don't die for this kid. Like, I don't want this kid to get saved. He, as a hostage, I'm like, let him go. I guess, but at the same time, it was totally predictable. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, when it comes up, I'm So like, we oh, needed that gonna... drama because the story was so simple? Yeah. Yeah. You need okay. a little twist there Sim- of like, simply... oh, the person you saved turned you in. Mm-hmm. So the movie could happen, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. It. Otherwise, they would have been hanging out at the gym yeah. and been fined. Uh, yeah. They would have gone on the treadmill instead of getting flipped off the treadmill. Right. And uh, with the action sequence on the uh, roof with the glass and everything, mm-hmm. I thought that was well done because I was like, I wow, they're, they're, like, there was the part when he gets, he falls down, he's hanging there. And then the guy shoots him in the hand, I think it yep. is. A lot of hand wounds in this, yep. apparently. And I'm like, how's he going to hold on? And he's also holding on to someone else who's below him. Uh, and I had this moment where I was like... Here's the issue, though. Okay, ready Nick. for the plot Nick hole? Was, Nick was below. So he is saying, yeah, Nick. He throws Nick into the gym through the glass, right? Yeah. And she's good. fine. And he goes, go get the family. He Literally, the Chris moment. Hemsworth is me? hanging there. And then the bad guy is hanging there. She could have grabbed the gun, shot the bad guy right in the face. The, and gun, she the gun jammed. They've, oh, yeah. They show specifically the, 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 the her gun, gun jammed. Her shell, gun jammed. The shell sticking out of the yeah, side they, of the gun. Okay. It. I'm so glad. They so show like, it twice. You could have ended the it's movie set it right in the there. subtitles. <laughs> you missed it. Probably. Yeah. yeah the, okay. The, no, I'm glad. Yeah. The, that, I thought that was lousy. Yeah. The spent shell gets stuck in it and she can't fix it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I And then they have Yaz, the other, the guy. Yeah. Her oh, no. brother. Nick's uh, brother. Yeah. Yaz was the guy. Nick was the girl. Which I had a hard time. I kept thinking the girl was Yaz Same. because of Doctor Who, the, the yeah. female character's name Yaz. Uh, Nick did have the best fight scene for me in the train when she's beating the guy up in the, yeah. uh, the in carriage. The control room yeah, thing. in the control room. And she grabs his hand and it's slicing against the glass. Once again, arm wounds all yeah. over the place. Lots of arm wounds. Yeah. I also noticed um, the very end scene, which we haven't got to yet, but he, he uh, Chris kind of Hemsworth, all over the movie here. Sorry, punching. You, if you're here, you maybe you've seen the movie. Uh, he wasn't no like cares. punching him with a closed fist. He was mm-hmm. punching him with like his the heel of his hand with an open palm. Mm-hmm. It was kind of I've never seen that in a movie before. Yeah, and I was like, I feel like that makes more sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, a lot of weird uh, injuries. Uh, the main characters are basically invulnerable until well, they're not. It's, yes. John, it's John Wick syndrome, yeah. and I feel bad for saying that because I do enjoy the John Wick mm-hmm. franchise. But holy cow. They need to have some space between the movies because he's almost dead at the end of the first, and then he jumps right into the. There's second. a training montage, Joel. <laughs> in this one, there is Joel. There's a training montage, barely Not in John Wick, but the, in this one, I had the same feeling where I'm like, the guy just he, got a, like he, out of physical therapy. He pushed rocks. He did. He pushed lots of rocks on a sled. But there's yeah. literally a part during the the escape sequence where he's, I mean, he's really holding his own and doing a great job, just mm-hmm. shooting up a bunch of people and all around. He did pull ups in the training montage. He did. <laughs> That's and all you need. He gets, he gets hit in the back of the head, and the way they did it, I felt it. Mm-hmm. Like they and have they, that high that pitched noise, tinnitus like, sound. Everything slows yeah. down. Everything kind of wobbles and stuff. And I was like, "Oh no!" But then he just keeps going. We didn't talk about the uh, prison riot. I thought that was awesome. Well, that's kind of what we're talking yeah, about, right? That's, like, that's all yeah, the one so take, he yeah. in in within that one take, mm-hmm. my favorite part was the prison riot because. Um, really, that whole uh, uh, uncut scene. Which is the same uncut. prison from MI5, by the way. Oh, really? So okay. It yeah. felt the same. Yeah. This felt like every Sony first party third person action game that's come out since The Last of Us. Okay. Yep. And almost to its detriment. But it, I was like, oh, this is a video game. Mm-hmm. But oh, it's like everyone just needs to throw a fist war. in the background to look like they're One doing of my something. Notes literally Batman. says, this is like a video game. <laughs> Yeah, very video gamey, but specifically that's where it's the prison riot and he they fight like everybody. Oh, yeah, it was so good. Looking down, by the way, my notes I had it numbers here. So the the single take action sequence, the twenty minute one, it took four to five months to rehearse and twenty nine days to shoot. Wow, it's yeah. a long time, and, and that's the focus of the movie. So I mean, it's worth it for them. Yeah, but oh. I mean, what? I also have a note here that just says pitchfork to the throat. Oh, oh yeah, that no, that's I early. love the bad guys. I couldn't understand. <laughs> Anytime the, the main bad guy was like, so can you and then he just kills the other bad guy just for standing there The the guy, yeah, the, the dad, we'll call him the uncle. He got no, the dad. Okay. Uh, got 10 years added to his sentence. Thank you for drug stuff. Okay. And the, the, the well-groomed guy, the uncle, the, uh, no, the, the guy who, who got the pitchfork through the throat. that guy. Yes. He apparently had the ability to do something about it. And he's like, Oh no, the Americans oh, okay. are breathing down my neck. Mm hmm. So then he gets stabbed in the neck. Okay, by the, so by the brother, that. by the uncle. I read this some as, as if it's there. like a Rambo movie, and I'm like, yeah, bad guys kill each other because you just can't trust each other, I right? It's like when I watched Thirty Days of Night uh-huh. uh, on uh, Clearplay, and they didn't have. Is that subtitles. the one with Sandra Bullock? 
No, that's a. <laughs> it's twenty eight days. That's twenty eight days later. <laughs> it's about uh, rehab. No, thirty days a night is like there's these vampires in uh, Alaska where there's no yeah. light, and so they have it's thirty so days good. of just feasting. And the whole time the vampires speak, I was like, oh yeah, they're vampires. They're just speaking in vampirese. We don't know what they're saying. And then I turn on subtitles halfway through it. It's like, oh no, they're speaking English this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did you feel about the climax? Do you, uh, I've, I've Which one? Heard that it feels anticlimactic. You well, mean them just the, rolling around throwing tools at each other? Yeah, well, the uh, the boy um, with the explosive vest, uh, they go to get him back, and uh, he's supposed to kill Mr. Rake yeah. and can't do it. Well, that it was just predictable and necessary. Yeah. Yeah, I think it needed to end. Because we were reaching two hours at it that point. It literally ends with the two, with the good guy and the bad guy. This is the spoilers, by the way. Good guy and bad guy exhausted on the floor, lying next to each other. The bad guy's like, oh, I'm never going to stop. And then Tyler Rake just shoots him in the head. I liked that a lot. I did too. I was like, come on, shoot him in the head. Just yeah. shoot, I think just maybe that's the whole thing we needed. Yeah. 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 Just shoot him in the head. Have it be done with. Uh, I appreciated that we had the bombastic gimmick. Then the really solid action scene. The one on the roof? Well, with the, the roof and the glass and the gym and getting crushed by weights and all of that. Yeah. yeah. And then we had the kind of intimate finale. Okay. So I, I thought as an action movie, I was... Solid action. This is yeah, honestly this solid great. action flick right. in that regard. Because the stunt work I mean, and the, the, the filmmaking, it's all very good. It, it is hard, though, because I'm spoiled by John Wick 4. John Wick 4 is clean, precise choreography. This movie is closer to Bourne, although it's still really feet. good. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I am, you know, I mean, that's, this is, I that's think, a near, that's a nine out of 10. And this is closer to a seven out of 10. It was or, or called, six even. We called the first one Dirty John Wick. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is more of that. Little less yellow filter, though. Right. Well, because they're not, looks this a little, time they're in Europe. <laughs> yeah. It looks a little right. bit less like uh, uh, Mexico Breaking Bad scene. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, if one more thing I wanted to mention here in the prison fight scene. Just, you know, it's the riots happening. Stuff's going on. Crazy stuff all around. I don't care how busy you are killing people. Mm -hmm. When your arm is on fire, that is your first priority to put it out. Yeah. Any human no, he did by punching punch, people. You punch and <laughs> then punch out the fire. That, that's the video game element where if you punch three times, it's gone. The fire's I don't know if you've played Tears of the Kingdom yet, but he actually upgraded his arm by fusing fire oh, to it. we can't. No. Really? Yeah. Okay, so there is a nice moment at the end when he's talking to his ex-wife through a, a prison because uh, he gets put in jail, in jail. And and jail. for some yeah. reason. And he's been guilty about leaving his son. he killed a, a lot of people, including yeah. cops, in both the, the first and guy. second movie. So he has always felt this guilt of leaving his son when his son was in the hospital. His son passed away. This of is cancer. a story. Yes. Okay, yeah. And so then, uh, and that's always been his guilt, but his mom's like, he always thought you were a hero, so do not have that, that, that fee those kind of feelings yeah. anymore. He's, he, the, the image that he was left with was not you walking out. It was you going to save people. Yes. And he said he wanted to be brave. Like he is a so, picture of and I the thought world. That was very was nice. nice. And then, so then the movie is like, okay, put him in handcuffs. We're going to carry him away. And then, of course, it gets to the end. And Idris Elba says, to an undisclosed location. I want, you to, I want to tell you about the go. Avengers wait, wait, initiative. Wait, wait, wait. Let the audience guess what happened. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. That's exactly right, audience. <laughs> that's right. That's right, listener. He gets there and he's like, we want you for another mission. And he's like, well, I'm not going to go without my team. <laughs> Thought you'd say that. It, it, it was weird because I watched the Luther movie. Why is Idris Elba Australian in my yeah, mind? Yeah, well, because they're both kind of in the Commonwealth. Yeah. At the end of the Luther movie, which came out this year, remember how we talked about the Luther TV series? He's a British cop. Yeah. He's kind of a thug, I watched sort of. A couple of episodes of that. Uh, there was a movie, and at the end, he's recruited. Sorry, spoiler alert. For another show. He's recruited for a big mission. In this movie, he's kind of the same character, though it's Idris Elba. And he's in. Uh, well, he doesn't have a name in this movie. And Maybe Tyler goes, What's your name? And he goes, uh, It's not important. Uh, who are we working for? Oh, Bad Mama Gemma. Yep. You know, and I'm like, oh, Okay. I guess this is really going to be a series. They're going to they really leave it definitely off. Definitely trying to do Th that. There's no mid credits stinger. Andrew Selba no is end credits. this universe's Nick Fury. Yes. Well, there's apparently someone above them, though. I guess. There's someone above Nick Fury, yeah. too. Yeah. Shield. Is Shield above him? Yes. Or who even cares? But they're Hydra. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so there we go. Those are our thoughts on Extraction 2. We can't wait for, what do we think, two more years Ext or three more years? Extraction. Three extraction. Ext three extraction. Oh, this was ext that sounds like tummy issues. Extruction? Three ex <laughs> extruction. Joel, help us out here. <laughs> Bye.
Are there subtitles when they speak foreign languages? 